Hey guys, how are you? I'm back again with another client makeup tutorial. This is Ligia and she's gonna be my model for today. So we did two lips, one purple and one nude. If you wanna see how we got this look done, then just keep on watching. After cleaning her face with micellar water, I'm going in with Embryolise as my moisturizer and this is gonna give me a hydrated base. Since she likes to look more bronzy, I'm gonna use two primers. The first one is the Bronzing Skin Perfector by Becca, and the other one is the Smoothing Primer by Makeup Forever. So what I'm doing is just applying these all over the face. First the Becca Primer and then the Makeup Forever one. You can see here that the Becca one gives an overall bronzy look, but it doesn't feel thick on the skin. So then we're gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer and what this is gonna do is just gonna fill the pores and it's gonna make the base or the foundation look smoother and flawless. And then to start with foundation, I'm gonna go in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear just a little bit because she doesn't need a lot of coverage. And this is in the color Shell Beige, which is a neutral shade. And I know that it looks darker than her neck, but I'm gonna put it on her neck afterwards and bronze her shoulders as well. For concealer, I'm going in with Custard by NARS and I'm doing a reverse triangle underneath her eyes, putting a little bit on the forehead, on the chin, and down the nose. Using a lighter concealer will not only lighten the foundation but highlight the face and it will make the foundation match her skin better. I blend all of this with a Beauty Junkie sponge. For bronzer, I'm going in first with cream bronzer and this is the Chanel Soleil Tan, the Chanel. I'm using a Beauty Junkie sponge to blend this in, the same one that I use for foundation. And I'm putting it in the same places where we put bronzer, which is the forehead, the hollows of the cheeks and underneath her jaw, just to give a little bit of warmth to the face. And before baking, I'm just cleaning with the Beauty Blender everything that's settled in the fine lines. To bake, I'm going in with my current favorite, which is the Ben Nye Colorless Powder. I'm using the same damp sponge, and I'm also putting it everywhere I put concealer to set the concealer and to bake it and make her foundation look lighter and last longer. <laughs> I'm using the same powder just to clean the edges of the contour and make it sharper and just to set everything. To blend the excess powder, I'm using NARS Beach Press Powder with a fluffy powder brush and I'm just tapping it all over her face to keep her matte and also to blend the colorless powder all over the foundation and this will match her skin better. This can look a little crazy at first but it will come together at the end. We're just creating the dimension that we erase when we put the foundation on. You don't really have to set everything with this much powder, but we live in a super, super hot weather, so we need to. And now to bronze the skin with powder, I'm going in with the Laguna Bronzer by NARS and a 00 brush by Wayne Goss, which is my favorite to do this. For blush, I'm going in with Chanel Sun Beige and the Achio brush. And this blush is so natural and goes with the look perfectly. For brows, I'm using taupe, the darker shade, and also ebony, and I do the different parts of the brow with different shades, but I want the brows to look natural because she already has flawless brows, in my opinion. And I forgot to mention that these powders are from Anastasia Beverly Hills. To prime the eyes, I'm going in with Urban Decay Primer Potion, the anti-aging, because why not? And since her eyes are super hooded, I want her makeup to last a long time and won't budge, so that's why I'm setting the primer with the colorless powder by Ben Nye. Now I'm highlighting the brow bone with Sin and Virgin from the Naked One palette. Using an E25 brush by Sigma, I'm taking the color Marina and I'm applying it all over the lid and blending it as I go with the same brush. I'm not changing brushes until the end when I'm gonna blend the edges. These colors are from the Makeup by Mario and Anastasia collab. Using the same brush but now with the color Paris, I'm gonna just go in the outer corner and emphasize the outer corner with that shade which is a little bit darker than Marina. Now to define the outer B even more, I'm going in with the E41 blending brush by Sigma and the color Violeta. 
and after that I'm using an E40 clean blending brush and blending the edges to perfection. I don't like to leave anything unblended and this brush is perfect for that because it's big and fluffy. To line everything I'm going in with the Eye Studio by Maybelline in the color black is black and I'm using the E11 by Sigma which is my favorite brush and I'm just defining her eyes. It's not gonna be a super thick line while I finish. It just looks a little bit thick at the beginning but it's just gonna give definition. Now I'm going in with the black eyeshadow from the Lorac 3 palette to set the studio eyeliner because since her eyes are hooded, if we don't set it, the eyeliner will move. And I'm applying the Sephora waterproof pencil in black to the waterline. And I'm now curling the lashes with the Tweezer Men Lash Curler and I'm also setting the brows with the Anastasia Brow Gel. Now I'm going in with the color NYC with a small pencil brush in the lower lash line and then I'm doing the same but towards the inner corner with the color Marina. Now to define the eyes a little bit more, I'm going with the color Creep from the Naked One palette and a Sigma Flat Definer brush. To contour the nose, I'm going in with Kevin O'Quan Light Contour Powder and with a smaller brush, I'm defining the edges of the nose and I'm also blending the nose out with the 02 by Wayne Goss and Translucent Powder. And now I'm setting the face with the Scandinavia Bridal Setting Spray. For mascara, I'm using a disposable mascara wand and the Este Edit The Edgiest Mascara. I love this one because it doesn't budge and it has two sides to it. For lashes, I'm using these ones. These are so similar to the Demi Wispies by Ardell, but they're my favorite and I'm using the House of Lashes glue to apply them. Now I'm removing the lip balm with a Q-tip to go in with the first color that I'm gonna use on the lips. This is Melted Fig by Too Faced. And to finish this lip, I'm using Boxum's White Russian, which is my favorite lip gloss. Buffing the skin is not a thing that I can just not do. So I'm using Dim Light this time, and I'm using it with a Duo Fiber Brush by MAC. And this is how the makeup looks like it's melted into your skin. For the second lip, I decided to go with one of my favorite colors. This is Melted Honey by the Too Faced line, the Melted Chocolate one. And this looks perfect with the eyes. This is my favorite look, guys. As a lip gloss, I decided to go with MAC Please Me lip gloss. And this one tops this lipstick amazingly. When someone has birthmarks, I love enhancing them because that makes you think that the foundation is not as full face as it is and it makes the skin look more natural so yeah guys this is the finished look uh you can see her here without makeup and the transformation it's natural but it's still super pretty she's so fun to work with she's my sister-in-law and i adore her so if you guys enjoy these types of videos please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already also check my social media instagram facebook snapchat and twitter don't forget that every product is going to be linked down below. And that's it, guys. Bye.